Shrub Alert Nation, I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Our first story is coming from Leafy. You don't remember this guy? Leafy is here. He uploaded a video titled, White People Are Evil, I'm Going to Kill Them, the most racist black man on this website. In the video, he exposed a smaller YouTuber known as Minnesota Boy for being racist towards white people, calling us all evil, and that we are snow chimps. W whatever the fuck that means. Minnesota Boy responded on Twitter by saying, ready or not, here I come. The queen of lizards tried to after me and failed. Is E for a word? <laughs> Can I not read? Also in the news, the Call of Duty community is freaking out because new YouTube policies makes it seem like you're not gonna get any money for the Call of Duty montages. Charlie Intel reporting that the new YouTube policy suggests Call of Duty montage videos can no longer be monetized. Now, I seen big Call of Duty YouTubers like T Martin talking about this on Twitter. I reached out to Fwiz, the head of YouTube gaming for a statement. This is what he said via Twitter. Around the montages concern, this doesn't mean you can't make gaming montages. Um, let, let me read that one more time. Around the montages concern, this doesn't mean you can't make gaming montages. Well, of course you can make gaming montages, but YouTube, can you get paid for- Like, I'm so- This doesn't answer the goddamn question! Also in the news, everybody is going after Jake Paul. And I kind of love it. I, I kind of love it. I feel like the community has come together to say, fuck you and fuck the Jay Paulers. Your shit is whack. Listen, H3H3 made a video on the Jake Paul today. PewDiePie made a video on the Jake Paul. And Ricegum dropped a diss track, well, half of a diss track, on Jake Paul with his ex-girlfriend, Elisa. Funniest part of the video is when he says, Elisa said, you come fast like the furious. And ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's pretty much it for the news. I mean, I got one more story. I got one more story for you, and it's a good one. It's a good one. But I just want to point out that there's, there's not really that much news going on. There hasn't been that much news going on. For uh, for the last couple of weeks, I don't know what it is. I I I don't. Maybe it's the, the the YouTube apocalypse. Everyone's just like you know playing it safe, where they're not just expressing themselves and slinging rocks everywhere. Because that's the YouTube I love. I don't know about you. Like this Jake Paul thing is the most exciting thing. But shit, that was like a week old. Like fucking now YouTubers are just getting around to making a video on it. Come on, people. We got to move faster than this as a community. Okay, last story. What if I were to tell you that a social justice warrior, feminist, all right, fell in love with an alt-right anti-social justice warrior? Because guess what? It's true. Feminist and social justice warrior Lacey Green fell in love with shit stain Chris Raygun. And the two are happily dating. Okay, so here's the thing. Chris Raygun's fans and his side kind of just accept it Lacey. You know, we're, we're going we're going to be logical about this. You know, we realize you two are in love. You know, hopefully this starts a dialogue and, and Lacey can be uh, a little bit more, um, I don't know, easy to work with and whatnot. But Lacey's fans and Lacey's friends are going fucking berserk. They are fucking losing their mind that Lacey Green would date somebody like Chris Raygun. This is fucking hilarious. So Lacey Green was getting so much hate on Twitter that she just, she just got fed up. She got fed up and she said, fuck you to all these people that were giving her shit. She said this on Twitter. Pop in the bubbly tonight to celebrate not giving a fuck. That's when one of these social justice warriors quoted her and said this. Not giving a fuck about her friends, women, people of color, interracial couples, trans people, and Muslim people. Okay, so because Lacey Green is dating Chris Raygun, according to Benjamin O'Keefe, Lacey Green now hates black people, 
Interracial couples, trans people, Muslim people, what the fuck? Why are you so retarded? This is the stupidest fucking thing I have ever seen. Chris Raygun should get an award for saving Lacey Green from these fucking complete whack jobs. I mean, this shit is so berserk. It's so berserk. Okay, I'm done ranting. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, we dropped new merch. If you want the Keem t-shirt, it's down below. If you love Drum Alert, slap a like on it. I appreciate you. Drum Alert Nation, now over 1.8 million subscribers.